<laughs> Potentially. Okay. I'll, I'll be back. See you later, Al. Thanks. Okay, Ellen, let's okay. get cooking. Well, we're going to make the focaccia bread first. So the bread is so simple. It's easy, delicious. And we're going to start with some flour. We've got a cup of flour. We have some curry that we're going to add in. And yeast. We need the quick rise yeast. Garlic powder, okay. that's going to give us our flavor, a little salt, add that all in, and then we have a cup of warm water, and I'm going to pour in two tablespoons of canola oil into that. Oh, I'll just get a measuring spoon. No, oh, you too know, late. I'm, you know me, I'm nice. such a cook, I know <laughs> we can just do it. And then you just want to blend it, so this is kind of the first part of the making the bread. So that's going to mix all together, and once that's combined, you're going to add in anywhere between two and a half to three cups of flour to make that dough. So we're just, but I have made it a bit earlier. So oh, then here well, you go. That saves a lot of time. Well, yeah, and it's a really wonderful thing because you know if you use the base of just the flour, the salt, uh, the yeast, then you can add other flavor agents in it. So at CanolaRecipes.ca, we have an example of a kachu bread that's a tomato. Focaccia oh, bread, really? or yeah, so you know you can add tomato paste into it and other nice seasonings. You can it doesn't see that look great? Curry, eh? You can yeah. see the curry, yeah. and then when you do the tomato, it has the will have that really nice kind of ready tinges to it. So this has been all mixed. We want to just kind of roll it out a bit, and I have my little rolling pin. Did you get that when you were a little girl? Yes. <laughs> no, it's so light and easy. I love using it. So we have our pan. I would like you to just, we want to put a little canola oil on this pan. And if you can take the paper towel, because it needs to be a well-oiled pan. And we're just, you know, eyeball the roll. And then we also need to get our element on. So using, you know, this is something that I love to serve to people um, when they come over for a barbecue or just as a great appetizer to start. That looks great. There. That's perfect. Just like some of the guys in the crew. <laughs> well oiled. <laughs> Let's get our element on. You know, because it's a two step process. So we're going to put this out. Um, just a little stick. So we're just going to, you know, if you want to kind of press it into the pan. You can do any pan that you're um, wanting to fit into. So that one, I like it to be a little thinner of a focaccia bread, but you can do it Me in too. a cake pan that's a little bit thicker and it will rise. So the key here is we need to let it rise in the pan for about, um, you know, 20, 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so. So that looks great. So we'll set that off to the side. Yep. And so we have our frying pan. We want it to be nice and hot. We're going to add in about three tablespoons of canola oil because now we're going to do our topping. This is where all the wonderful flavors come in. So we're going to add in that. And we'll get that heating up. And so what I have over here is we have potatoes, onions, more curry because we're now we're going to make like a flavored oil and garlic. But the key to this is layering. We don't want to put the garlic down first because it will burn. The onions will burn too. The potatoes take the longest. So they need to first. go down first. So they're going to go down first. And then we're going to put the onions on. So canola oil works really well for this because it has a high smoke point. So that's something that you need when you're going to be cooking with that. And then we'll add our garlic. And this makes a really great seasoning. And we're just going to put this up. And while this is getting all beautiful, just like you, we're going to show <laughs> the folks at home our very special, very new, hot off the press uh, anniversary cookbook from Great Taste. Great Taste of Manitoba is now a beautiful hardcover book. It's a collection of many of the favorite recipes featured over the past 20 years, accompanied by full-color photos. And you can win a copy. We'll draw for one book each week and award it to a lucky viewer. To enter, go to foodmanitoba.ca and tell us what you like about the show. The weekly winner's names will be posted on the Food Manitoba website. Look for the Great Taste of Manitoba 20th Anniversary Book. See, this is where I wish we, everyone at home had smell of vision oh, I know, so we, I know. You, they could capture the aroma. This, I love curry anyway, but this is terrific. So this is reduced down. We have flipped it and it's reduced down. Our dough is ready to go. Now you want to add in the topping 
And so we're just going to pour that on. Mush it all around. And spread it around. And then you're going to bake it in your oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. That's all. Now this is something you can do on the barbecue as well, but that's, that is it. And then w when it comes out... Uh, we're going to cut it you up. cut it up? Yeah, a little sea salt. Beautiful. And seasoning on it, you know. Beautiful. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.